this is going to be a different kind of tutorial series called Let's Build. Originally, this video was broadcast on Periscope. This is the XL741 soldering kit from the Evil Mad Scientist Laboratories. It is a huge LM741 op amp. You build it using discrete components so you can see how it works inside. Notice that each resistor is clearly labeled. Now that they're inserted, I can go through and solder each of them quickly. Quick check to make sure that I hit all the leads, and now it's time to start clipping. By the way, when clipping leads, wear some type of glasses for protection. Yeah, you can't see it right now, but there's a pile of leads on my bench right now. It's kind of messy. So I'm fixing that with some masking tape. Time to flip the board over. Oops, wrong way. Looks like there were two more resistors. They were separate from the card of resistors. Yeah, that masking tape is coming in handy right now. Time for the transistors. First, I installed the 3904 NPN BJT transistors. Remember BJTs? We covered those on Atoms number 10. They all face the same way, making it really easy to put them in. Soldering these is pretty easy. The three legs hold them in pretty well on their own. Of course, with so many connections, it is easy to miss one or two. So take your time on this step. Also, if you aren't good at getting solder joints, take a break and go onto another transistor. The heat can build up and damage the silicon. All right, looks like I got them all. Now, flip the leads. Again, it is really important to have some kind of eye protection. These little bits can easily get away from you. There are two diodes, so let's add those real quick. Soldering these is just like the lead-it resistors. Movie magic while adding the 3906, which is a PNP BJT, the complement to the 3904. Soldering these in is just like the other transistors. Notice that the cut leads are sticking to the flux residue. And all the components are in now. At this point, we turn into mechanical engineers to assemble the hardware. There is a washer that goes between the PCB and the fake leads. 
I found installing on the center first makes it easier to get the washer inside all three. Don't tighten all the screws until all the washers are in place. Here's another approach using tape to hold the screws in place. Throw the washers on and repeat. Yeah, that worked much, much better. A little bit of cleanup. Add some thumb screws. And one last double check. Want to build your own XL741? Go to adohms.com slash build02 for links to buy. Visit baldengineer.com slash XL741 for my full review. Leave comments for what we should build next. Make sure you follow on Twitter at adohms and at baldengineer for my next Periscope broadcast.